Uh, oh, it started already. Uh, <laughs> Alright, um, Hajime Mashite, Otashi wa Amanda des Yoroshiku Onagaishimasu. Um, my name is Amanda. I am making this channel to enforce me speaking and studying Japanese. I've been studying it since I was 14. Wouldn't call it studying, but um, it started with anime and manga, and which probably a large portion of people start out with that. Um, but then I just really wanted to learn Japanese and I want to go to Japan. Um, I'm 20 now, I turned 21 in April. But just this last little bit, I was like, I am going to study. I am going to study. So in this last little bit, I have memorized hiragana and katakana. I can read it. I don't know what I'm reading because I don't know enough vocabulary to know what I'm reading. <laughs> but I can read it, so that's a start. And I know some kanji. Uh, I can vaguely go through 1 to 10 and yaku, as well as write Nihon or Japan. <laughs> Uh, very, very, very few. Um, I'm hoping, like I said, I mentioned I'm hoping to do this video once a week. I'm not a video maker. I am... What's the word? Scared? Embarrassed? Trying to make a video? Very difficult. I apologize, I normally look better in things, but I have to get into the pool today to teach lessons anyway, so I decided that I wouldn't. Um... Some of the things I was using this last little bit, um, I just started to buy some books for Japanese now. Um, but before I bought books, I had my iPad and my iPhone. And one of the things I used the most was, let me just find it here. Oh, I need to bring this up. Ito, eh. There we go. Um, one of the things I used the most was this app called Japanese by Mind Snacks. And they had it for other languages, and when I went to China, I used it when I went to China. I uh, hope you can see that. Um, I had two accounts because I started to start again. This is my main account, and basically what happened... Uh, <laughs> I got all the games now after getting to so many levels. But depending on what you're studying, um, it gives you vocabulary words and there's games to enforce it. So there'd be games like Swell, which you, it, it would get really fast and you'd have to choice. You'd be given a word like, um, what's an example? Uh, using numbers, it would give you the top word written Ichi in Romanji or you can have it switched to kana kana, or the Kana. And then you were given two answers. You could either choose sun or ichi, and you'd have to choose ichi, and then you'd have to do that many times. Or chipper, which is the second game, it is to help with your kana, and it will give you the word, and you have to be able to write the word in kana. Um, but I have loved this game since I've got it, and I can I, I sometimes set it down for too long, and then I start again, and then I use a whole play for about hours and then there's quests on it and right now I'm on a quest I absolutely hate the one game bubbler because I can't I don't understand ja I know Japanese enough but I was reading in Roma I guess I'm playing the game in Romanji anyways you have to make sure it's spelled right so bubbles are floating to the top of the screen and you have to be able to know what's spelled I guess I should maybe turn it into kana kana and actually practice that more um but Inaka Yama. Basically, I have to do this with this game, and I really hate this game right now because um, it says collect 15 different fish, and to do that, you have to get really, really, really far in the game, and I suck at the game a lot. So I just <laughs> haven't played for a while. Um, what I have done though um, is I had a couple of other apps on my iPod. I've used my iPad quite a bit. Um, when I was starting to learn the hiragana, I ended up getting the Dr. Moku's hiragana. And I'm going to turn this off. Uh, maybe you can see better. Uh, apparently, you can't see anywhere. Okay, Dr. Moku's hiragana, I went through it and had mnemonics all against it. And so there's a lot of kana that I have practiced that when I think of it, I think of. 
whatever mnemonic went with it. And it's not all of them, but some of them. Because I thought it was so funny. Um, another book I got, I picked this one up while I was in Chapters in Regina. Um, it's the first hundred Japanese kanji. Um, I've only gone through a couple of it because I was going through something. I got other books too, and I haven't really been using this. And to be honest, I actually really think it's boring to just write kanji over and over and over and over and over again. And I really hope that's not how I have to learn it because it's really boring and my hand hurts after a while. But that's that. Um, to fully learn the hiragana and kanakana, um, I found this book. I ordered this online, a uh, Japanese hiragana and kanakana for beginners. And it went off with, once you started writing the hiragana, it gave you some to trace over, and then you had to re create your own, and apparently you're supposed to circle your favorite one. Um, I didn't do that, but it also has a mnemonic up here. And then at the very, very bottom, you'd have the one you were practicing and you'd have to write it in and then you'd have traceable characters to make the word. So on this page, uh, the, uh, there's ohashi. And so because the character I was practicing was o, oh, you'd write the character o oh, and then the two characters after hashi you would have to trace over because you don't know those yet. Ow. I just hit myself with the book. But I use this, and then after a certain amount, you'd have to read there after, I think, 10 characters, you had to, you were given a list of words to read. And then after you finished the hiragana, you got um, a, there were exercises, and so you'd have to write, there'd be more examples, and you'd have to write them in hiragana. And that one wasn't too hard because I kind of had a basis of hiragana beforehand. Um, and I wanted to practice writing it because I could read it, but I couldn't write it and then I couldn't remember it. Now I can remember it better. Kana Kana, I'm still practicing a little bit more. Um, I want to be able to read it word for word and I'm almost at that point. I still have to stare at the katakana just a little bit. Um, but I came to the point where I didn't finish the book because you had to write so small and I can't, I can write small but I broke my thumb and, or a couple years back and every so often after writing for so long it hurts. And I broke my dominant hand so it, not so great. Um, the second book I am learning from and I just ordered the textbook too so I'm waiting for the textbook to come. I should have ordered them at the same time but I apparently didn't know it was paired with something. Um, but this is beginning Japanese, um, your pathway to dynamic learning or language acquisition. And I picked it, I found, uh, I found it online uh, when I was looking for books online. And I just looked in the inside of it where Amazon had looked inside and I thought it was pretty neat. Um, what it goes through is that they have one for intermediate and advanced. but. It starts off with basically this girl named uh, Kirara, or Kiara, Kiara, uh, Kira, I guess. Um, she's writing Dear Journal and she's heading to Japan. And so it gives a journal entry and she's like, oh yeah, I'm practicing this, I'm practicing that, and I know this. And then she's like on the plane and she talks about talking to someone who's going to Sendai and who's con another guy who's continuing on to the Fili Philippines. Um, but she's talking about her adventure going to Tokyo. Um, and then she talks about, it starts here. Um, in the corner up here it says, Konnichiwa. Uh, I hate this camera. Konnichiwa right there. And she says right after I gotta practice writing what I've learned so I don't forget. And so basically this is the very beginning. And it shows you some kanji and for you to practice some kanji, but once you get later into the book, um, her journal entries are barely written in English anymore. And so some of it's in English and then some of it's in Japanese, so you have to really practice your Japanese. And I thought that would be, uh, that's actually really neat. And what they do is that they teach you things by comics. And so there will be about three or four comics per, uh, 
per chapter. And one of the things was is that the very beginning, introducing yourself. So in this comic, it's all written in Japanese except for that one person saying, can you introduce yourself? But she's saying, I can read this. Uh, the guy's asking, Nihongo ga wakarimasu ka? And she says, hi, wakarimasu. Um, then the other person says, I this, 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 ne? And then she says, can you introduce yourself? And then, like I did at the beginning of this video, she says, Watashi wa... What? <laughs> oh wait, no, sorry. Hajimemashite. Uh, watashi wa kiara desu. Dozo yoroshiku. So, I'm reading sideways and I still have to look and read and pay attention. But it's just simple things like that. And then the, uh, what was said is on the next page. Though it's not in English, and I have a feeling it will be in English in the workbook that I'm waiting for to come. Um, but it has stuff, so all sorts of stuff like that. And I, I think I'm really going to like this book. Um, I've also looked at Genki. Um, I have Genki 1, Genki 2, technically. Um, technically, um, but I just haven't really, it doesn't seem as fun, and I think that beginning Japanese book seems way more fun. Um, I've got a couple other apps though, um, on my iPhone and my iPad, and one of them was like to help me enforce kanji if I found a kanji I don't know. I still don't know how to search for radicals, I really don't understand radicals, so if someone can explain that to me, that would be great. Um, finding kanji is really hard, so there's this app on your phone that you can will have like a little writing pad and you can write the kanji you see and you can find one to click and if it's the one you're looking at, click it and it will tell you what it is. So I think that will be really helpful. I'd still like to use furigana if I can. Um, but that is me rambling on. Um, if you guys have any tips or when, uh, I hope to actually be able to, in the future, be able to make a video in Japanese and not have to speak in English. But until then, I have to speak in Japan English because I don't know Japanese. I don't know enough Japanese. Um, so, like I said, my name is Amanda. Um, I guess I just rambled on about Japanese. Okay. Mm. Quick minute. I'm Amanda. I live in Canada, and I right now I am a lifeguard and swimming instructor, and that is what I do on a regular basis. Um, I was gonna plan to go to Japan this summer on a missions trip, and then I had to forego it because I ended up getting engaged over uh, the winter or Christmas, and so I'm getting married in September instead. <laughs> Um, we hope to go to Japan though someday ourselves. So I hope to go in the near future, probably near future three or four years, but I want to go. And I plan to want to spend a month there. Um, that is mainly what I do. I have one dog. Luca, come here! Luca! Come here! Come here! He's being lazy right now. Luca, come here! Come here! Come here! Yeah, I just woke him up. Luca, come here! Hi! Hey! Come here! Come here! <laughs> no! Come here! Up here! Come on! Up! Up! up. Luca! Come on! Hop up! Hop up! Oh! This is my... This is my pup, Luca! <laughs> he is a British lab. He's fox red. He is scared of water and it annoys the heck out of me because I'm like, You are a Labrador! Why are you afraid of water? Um... Anyways, he is my, he wasn't the smartest choice to buy, but he's probably one of my favorite choices to buy. But that's just a little bit of me. I don't have much else to say right now, and I feel like I'm rambling on, and this video is going too long. So, bear with me, as my videos probably aren't going to be very good, but I would love support. Um, Johnny.